So you just took that image you have never imagined in your life that you could take and you're like wait if i can change this if i can change this if i can change this i could make this picture wow so today we'll learn how to change this to this using raw therapy and raw therapy is a free software that you you're looking at me now can start using right away i'll be putting the link in the description box below with that being said if you're new to this channel make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit it hard punch it punch it punch it punch it let's get right into the pc looking at this picture how can we make this better i want that bluish instagram kind of effect for this picture but i don't have money to buy photoshop but it'll be yeah, let's just do that here Raw Therapy has everything you need to work on this picture to make it look better. So the first thing we want to do now is to go to our shadows or highlights. Then under the shadows or highlight, we want to, we want to increase the highlight that's thereby decreasing it. It should be decreasing it. Just click this circle over here. Then, yeah increasing it over here it will, will decrease the effect of the highlights over there then let's just put it to about 74 will be okay then let's let's kind of change the highlight to another width let's take it down let's take it down yes as you can see that the, the effect is somewhere around this place then the next one is the shadows want to increase the shadows a bit not too much just little little of the shadow we do then um we could just leave the shadow toner with a 30 and the radius at 40 and close the shadows or highlight then the next one we'll be going into is the l a and b adjustment L A and B adjustment over here we'll be increasing the chroma TCD let's take it up to increase the saturation I think it works with the saturation it's just like another saturation just like another saturation that is what it does then let's just take it to about 20 should be okay then let's go to the hue according to hue and um let's come over here and um click the equalizer and what we want to do here is we want to make a massive graph a massive graph now what this what what this will do is just to make the blue more blue and uh, and uh, and just kind of create a contrast in the blue so let's let's do that so let's take this up Let's take, let's take this up then let's take this down this about this place then we can also take the magenta down then we can also make another let's pop this up yeah i think this should do the work then let's go to our color and um we don't really need to do anything in the white balance because the white balance over there is just good for the picture so let's go to the hsv equalizer the hsv equalizer over here we want to also go to the hue setting and uh, this green over here we want to change the color to an orange kind of color yeah, or orange 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 with orange is a fruit okay orange kind of color let's take this down and also take the green down let's take the green down okay this is too much this is way too much i think there's a problem here so let's take this up a bit let's take this up i think this is too much oops yeah 
So this is very, very okay. Now the next thing we want to do is to go to the values and um, increase the values of the blue. We want the blue color to um, to want the want the want the light on the blue color to be more. So what we are going to do is just come over here and then um, take this up this the sky blue and um, the other blue yeah as you can see the 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 the, the, the this increase the light in the blue area so yeah, let's close that up and let's go to the color toning here we want to work with in the method we want to work with the color balance shadow or mid-tone or highlight click that and here we want to take let's take the 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 the, the, the highlights towards the green side let's take the highlight towards the green side yeah this should be okay then the the yellow blue let's Let's just take it toward the blue side let's give it a blue color as you can see it's affecting this place then the mid tones what we're going to do here is to take these toward the cyan and take these towards the blue just a little bit let's see about 12 should do then over here Mm, I think we'll just leave this as it is. Then the shadows, what we are going to be doing here is to also take it to the blue. Yeah, then take the shadows to the cyan. Check, check. Yeah, the, the, that's the, the cyan, the shadows to the cyan. Then I think this should, this should do. The shadows to the cyan, the shadows to the cyan, the shadows to the cyan. So now this picture is already looking so good. So the next, the, the next, okay, the second to the last thing you're going to be doing to this picture is to come over to where it says advanced, and you're going to be using the wavelet levels to add to pump the picture to add that that sharpness to the picture. The more then. We are going to just be clicking here and be opening it and let's close this let's close this sorry let's close this 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 <laughs> okay here, this here is what will be coming the edge sharpness so over here we'll be clicking this place then we'll be increasing this a bit the strength then let's decrease the details and just leave it like this this should do as you can see the image is already out like it's mm, 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 mm. <laughs> yes <laughs> so now the over here when it's where it says um, local contrast method we want to change it from curve to threshold then just play with this i think a little bit so that your picture don't start looking fake like what what is this so this should be okay then the final thing you can just leave the remaining part of it as it is and the final thing you'll be doing to this image is to kind of add a graduated filter to it add a graduated filter to this image so what how to do that is to just come over here and um, click this after which you will just for this particular image let's just increase not let's decrease this a bit then the, that was the strength then the angle we can just put it to minus 40 sorry minus 57 okay that's making it go this way that's towards the side then we can increase the center x so about i think let's put it to 61 then the center y we can take it to about 14. three so i'm um, on the further end let's just leave it as it is so let's check it off as you can see 
yeah the effect is on here just to make the picture look like the light is bouncing from this side and hitting the car so yeah that's all for this video as you can see we have changed this picture from its former stage which is this to this now if supposing you want to make um a a a before and after for raw therapy i would have done that but i actually forgot you will just come over here where it says show hide the history then you just click it you take a snapshot i think now if we're going to do it i'll just name this after and hit enter then how do we get our before how do we get our before how do we get our before okay let's just come over here and say last saved okay here we have our before then let's go back and say plus and this is our before so now we have our before sorry we have our after and we have our before over here you can see the massive changes the massive changes this is the after and this is the before the wow yes so that's all for today's video if you enjoyed what you just saw please make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button for more videos from this channel as we will be diving deep into free softwares to see what they can actually do to use its potential to the fullest so bye for now see you in my next video